Hi, and welcome to the Assembly Lines Podcast. I'm Chris Torrance. So today we're gonna do a video review of the latest Apple II game from Snacking On Software by Michael Packard. So let's get started. So you might remember Michael Packard as the creator of the game Alien Downpour from Snacking on Software. And this latest game is entitled Oid Zone. And it's a simple shoot 'em up which promises lots of fun. So let's go ahead and we'll see what's in the package here. So we've got a floppy and it is designed to work on Apple II, 2 Plus, 2E, 2C, 2GS, or Apple III even and as long as you have 48k of memory. So the game is very reminiscent of Asteroids, but with some interesting twists to it, which we'll see when we start the game. It also has support for Mockingboard music, which is a nice little bonus. And Michael has done a great job with the manual, with all the controls and everything. So let's go ahead and we'll put it into the Apple II and try it out. All right, let's fire up Oid Zone. So this game is by Michael Packard, and he's also done other games, including Alien Downpour. We can immediately hear the Mockingboard sound once the game starts up. It automatically detects a Mockingboard if you have one in your system. And this is primarily a game just like Asteroids where you're blowing things up, but with a few twists. So in this one, there's a lot of different types of ships. Uh, you can use keyboard or joystick, and then there's a special menu where you can get to additional options as well. So for example, if you want to try a different difficulty level, you can do that, including practice mode. I'll choose one, and then you can also choose the style of the asteroids as well. So you can awesome, there's classic, which is just kind of old school, and then there's a secret one, B, which is actually spaghetti and meatballs. So we'll just choose awesome here, and we'll start the game. So you're just basically, ah, I'm gonna die, uh, flying around and blowing things up. So let's go ahead and we'll start to fire. J and L are left and right in the default keys. D is fire, and then K is accelerate. Oh, there's shields. Oh, if I can get to it. All right, if you haven't already been able to tell, Michael Packard designed some really brutal games. These are really hard. Same thing with um, Alien Downpour as well. That game is just hard, but fun. One thing I really like about Michael Packard's games is all of the little quotes that he has throughout it which he's just pulled from uh, movies and books. And they're just a lot of fun. So even though you might be dying, you can uh, have fun reading all the his little sayings and everything. Aww. Oh, shields. Cool. Ooh, who's that? All right, moved up to sixth place. What do I think of Oid Zone? It's hard, it's a really hard game, but the graphics are amazing. So they're smooth, there's lots of cool enemies to fight, the Mockingboard sound effects are really fun, 
and it's just a fun game to play, although I think you need to practice a lot to get good at it. So Michael is an excellent 6502 programmer. He can really crank out the games, and so I'm really looking forward to his other games that are coming out, including Snack On, Lunar Rescue, and especially Trader Invader. So if you're interested in playing any of these games, you should go to Michael Packard's website where you can download free versions as well as buy bagged copies of his games for $20. So thanks for watching.